To turn back the block, you need that and even more of this. Uh, we were working on painting the houses. We did demolition on one of them. We knocked out some walls and some old drywall. Tim Snell and Brendan Kirk are in the group of 50 Easygo and Textron employees that volunteered on Broad Street. They're out of towners, but glad to leave their mark. It's definitely a good feeling you know, to do anything you can and get something positive accomplished. Knowing that someone will be able to live in this house and, um, you know, it'll become a home for them, that's, that's really, uh, it's really rewarding to know. They're helping out a local nonprofit called Turn Back the Block. Homes are donated to the group, volunteers fix them, and then they're sold to those with poor credit. But the great thing is to me that it's volunteers that are doing this. This is what the houses look like when they're first donated to Turn Back the Block. And this is what a house looks like once they finally started working. And this is what it finally looks like to turn back the block. Two homes are finished on this block, and they still have two more to go. Turning back the block, one hammer, one house at a time. In Augusta, Ryan Houston, News 12.